So first off is when Zach Bronigal got upset by Cam Caffey. So the match started off with Bronigal getting a 2 point takedown right in the first minute, but then Caffey would get an escape and then he would get an escape in the second period. Bronigal would respond to that with an escape in the third, making it 3 to 2, and then with about 45 seconds left, Caffey would get a takedown, giving him the lead temporarily, but then Bronigal would get an escape, but then off of a reshot, Caffey would score one more takedown right at the end of the match to give him the upset win. Just a crazy exchange happened right in the final seconds of the match where Caffey would just continue to wrestle and end up getting a gritty gritty win against a highly ranked opponent. Here comes back in, gets the escape. Caffey looking to go ahead, pick the far ankle, gets the takedown at the end. Like you said, Shane, exciting sequence. That was wild. This is Patty Gallagher upsetting Trevor Chumbly of Northwestern. So nothing really happened in the first period, but then in the second and third, Chumley and Gallagher would trade escapes, but then Gallagher would end up getting a takedown in the third period, but then Chumbley would almost get a reversal, but Gallagher would lock his hands in a scramble, which would make the match 3-2. Then Chumbley would get an escape, forcing overtime to make the match 3-3, and then in overtime, in sudden victory, no takedowns were scored, and then in the tiebreaker rounds, Gallagher would get a ride out for Chumbley, and then he would choose neutral and be able to hang on to his lead, basically not get taken down and end up winning by riding time. Personally, I don't know how I feel about that overtime criteria where if a guy gets a ride out, he doesn't have to choose bottom to get an escape and can just choose neutral and win off of riding time. I think they should change that in a way, but yeah, that's how the match went and Gallagher ended up getting the win here. Can he do it? Trevor right up to his feet, attacks the hands, gets out. I think that was even quicker than the Trevor's first. Got his hips. He's extending Gallagher. And we'll see some more wrestling. His returning NCAA finalist Jacob Warner getting upset by Michael Foy of Minnesota. So in this match, nothing really happened. In the second period, Warner was able to get a two-minute ride out, which was huge. And a lot of people thought he had the match pretty much locked up. All he had to do was escape in the third period, and he would essentially be up by three points. But Foy was able to ride him out for about a minute and 20 seconds, taking away the riding time advantage. Then he chose to cut him and try to get a takedown with about 30 seconds left. And he was initially unsuccessful, but then in the last like five seconds of the match, he was able to get a quick spin around, go behind takedown, right at the last second in a crazy buzzer beater takedown. It was later challenged by Iowa, but it was ruled a takedown and Foy would get the biggest upset win of his career. That is when number two Quincy Monday got upset by Julian Ramirez, and this match was an absolute battle. So first Ramirez got a takedown, then Monday was able to escape, and then in the second period, Monday would choose bottom, he would escape, making it two to two, and then he would take down Ramirez, so the score is four to two. But then with about a minute left, Ramirez would get to his feet, Monday would lock his hands in a body lock, and then Ramirez would also be able to escape, so the score would be four to four. But then Monday would end up having to go on top in the third period as Ramirez would choose bottom and Ramirez gets up, gets an escape there and then Monday takes him down. So at that point the match is 6-5, to five. Ramirez gets a clutch escape to make the match 6-6 six to six with about 40 seconds left. And then off of a great low single shot, uh, he was able to get deep on Monday's legs, put him in danger and get a late takedown to win the match. He'd also get two back points so it would make the final score 10-6 to six in an absolute war. Monday. So one escape and it's going to be one penalty. This match is going to be tied up. And 
I saw a warning against Monday. Just hanging out. The officials right on top of things. If you're just hanging out and holding on, they're going to call it. And there's one. And deep double leg takedown attempt here. And Monday is going to finish. Monday with two at 6 5. Monday. Then at number one is when number one ranked wrestler at 197. Rocky Elam got upset by Luke Serber, an unranked wrestler from Oklahoma State. So this match was crazy and Serber would get the first takedown off of a leg pass and then a mat return. But then Elam would get an escape and get a takedown of his own, but later on, just right after that takedown, Serber would be able to scramble and do a roll and get a reversal. So it would make the score 4-3 heading into the second period as Elam would get an escape later on. Then in the second and third period, they would trade escapes. So the final score would be 5-4 as Serbo was able to hang on to his lead and win this crazy contested bout. This was definitely the upset of the week. Uh, sorry the quality is not better for this one and the number 2 one. I couldn't really find that many good videos of this match so that's why the quality isn't that great. But that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more content like this. Let me know if I missed any upsets. Peace.